normally I don't do videos like this, but someone asked me on Instagram what happened to Galaxy and the whole nine yards. I have to say is that I stopped talking to Galaxy for a reason. She was being very dictatorship over me and that I wanted to be me. I wanted to branch out and be me, follow on my dreams, go to school wherever I please, meaning, you know, where I want to go to college. And Galaxy was becoming toxic after Nightfall left. And, you know, Galaxy needed to kind of, but she was also forcing me to be nice to her friend because her friend was bullying me. So instead of sticking up for me, she was t taking the bully's side. I felt absolutely like, and then she started to get contact with my mom and I didn't like that. And I had to even take, tell my mom the whole thing and that, you know, cause you know, you think someone may be sweet but they may have a sour side to them as well. So, um, unfortunately, Galaxy had to get the boot after all these years and something that she did that really pissed me off because my older brother has his own life now and she decided to call my older brother up and ask him, where do I live? When that's none of your business. And I guess my brother called me up and asked, oh, where do you live? Because my older and brother and I don't really see each other that much. That pissed me off. I had to send him pictures as proof. And it really made me angry. It's not... Or what I'm posting on social media is what Galaxy also kind of got dictatorship over. Is my posts on social media. Whether I'm at a baseball game with my friends. I'm partying with my friends. But, you know, it's a non-harmful post. So what I'm saying is, is just don't be a dictator over your friends and what they post. Leave that to their parents and to be honest, be you. Because if someone's going to do that, they don't deserve to be your friend. If they're telling you how to be, how to act, how to dress, like my favorite color is blue. She would tell me what, what to wear. You know, I was shamed and I didn't like it. I needed to be me. Galaxy is off the shelf. And I brought new people on. I brought G Cardinal 99, I Atlanta. Nightfall's been the longest in running all the time. And he, I'm not kicking him off the show because, oh, you're thinking, oh, he's privileged. He's not. He's not privileged. He's just respectful. He's respecting the rules. And. When it comes to rules on my show, you have to follow them if you want to keep your your role on the show. I wasn't doing this because, you know, I hated her. I don't, but I still respect her, but we're not friends anymore. And Galaxy needed to learn that being toxic, dictatorship, bringing your drama and other stuff is just going to make you look like <clears throat> that I mean I've brought um I love the Golden State Warriors on board but his uh I brought um I love the Golden State Warriors 30 on here. I brought my friend I think A AD was on here once. I brought Ty Parcher, my friend, um, Henry from, but I call him A.H. I brought ran my friend Utterly Random Guy on here and AMI Productions along with his friends. Open tabs, um, that's YX2. I just started voice acting for Morgan Wells 1348.
galaxy needed to be let go. I needed to be me. I needed to follow my passions and my dreams. But if, and I also met a friend called Landon. I met 2091 Rivera Israel. I brought Nate Animates and Spacey Demoto 2002. And you know, so far they've been, I, and I've met Norb Cam, I met Tyler Parcher. I met all these great people. Um, You know, I would bring other people on here so that they could get their fair share. <sighs> but Galaxy is no longer a part of the pirate community. So she's no longer part of my Jade Empire community. She's just absolutely bringing her friends to get involved and it's not okay. So, this is just a farewell, um, but I want to say in the end, be you, and don't let anybody take you down. If someone's telling you how to do something, tell your parents, tell your teachers, gather up evidence, and be you. I don't force anyone to do anything they don't want to do, but... Unfortunately, things are going to have to change and rules are going to have to be in place. This is not the first time I've kicked off someone from a show. And to all those people I just mentioned, you guys have been nothing more than great friends to me. But if you're going to come out and do shit like that, you need to go. But you guys haven't, and that's fine. Um, I just wanted to note off that Galaxy's not going to return. Not now. Not ever. She has no respect and no boundaries. I might, yes, I'm going to bring more people. I might bring new people, old people. It's going to be a lot of fun. Be you. Be yourself. And do what you love. Achieve your dreams and don't give up. Do not let someone do something to you that you don't want to do. If you don't want to do drugs, don't do them. But honestly, don't do drugs, kids. Be you and be smart. Make your life's choices on your own, not someone else. You want to move to a different state? Achieve that dream because I did that. I moved from C I moved to Seattle and I got that dream sticked up and I made it a reality. So can you. Just because someone says something You need to be on your level. This is you and this is them. Be you and don't do anything. Don't be someone you're not. Just be you. And that's it. Someone's telling you that they, you, they don't like you? Fuck them. Because I'm saying is that person is nothing but a toxic asshole. So Galaxy and I are done. I'm making sure that she won't be contacting my family because I blocked her on everything and she won't be contacting me. Goodbye.